What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over my 10 day content marketing blitz. This is video number 22 in my from zero to $2,000 per month series. And what I want to show you today is a good 10 day strategy for creating and promoting your content. And it's something you can continuously do with your business and refine and improve over time. So I'm giving you a good framework to get started and it's something you can always approve upon and apply to your own business. So we're going to be doing this today for our website, wickerguide.com. So this website is all wicker furniture, wicker baskets, decorations. So I want to keep building out my content on this website so that I can get people back here and purchasing wicker products from me. So coming back over here, what I want to do is start with my daily strategy. So I broke it down into four different topics here and you can see for research, I'm going to take two keywords per day from my keyword list for content. I'm going to be publishing two new blog posts per day and 50 plus products per day for promotion. It's going to be one Facebook post, one Instagram post and one Twitter post per day. So all three channels are each going to get their own post and 100 plus new Pinterest pins every day. And then for visual, I'm going to be creating unique graphics for each blog post. I use canva.com to do that. And then I'm also going to be creating one video. Now the videos I'm not going to be publishing during this content marketing blitz, maybe on the final day or a few during the final week, but I really just want to be creating these videos so that I can publish them later. So coming over here, we're going to go through each of these parts of the strategy. So two keywords per day. So I'm pulling my keywords directly from my keyword list. So in a previous video, I went over how to do keyword research to build a huge keyword list. And I have a lot of videos on my channel about keyword research. So I'll put them in the video description as well so you can find them. But you can see what I'm doing is I'm pulling keywords from this list. The ones that are highlighted are ones that I've already targeted and ones that I can continue to improve upon with my existing blog posts. All of these down here are either ones that are going to require a brand new blog post or they're going to be long tail variations of other keywords that I've already targeted here. So hopefully that all makes sense. But essentially what I'm doing is pulling out unique keywords from this list. So something like wicker desks, for example. And then what I'm doing is I'm creating a page that lists the best wicker desks for sale and trying to get people to purchase products from me. So if I keep doing this over time and I build out a huge wicker website with all of these different categories and subcategories of products on it, then hopefully I can keep improving my rankings and improve my traffic. So that's really my goal here is to keep targeting these keywords. And every day I'm going to take two keywords. So the first day I could say I'm going to take wicker resin chairs, outdoor wicker benches. I'm going to write articles about these. We come over here. So two blog posts about these keywords. So to look at my blog posts, I'm going to follow the same template pretty much for all of these. They might be a little bit different, but I just revamped this page, best wicker hampers. So if we scroll down, I broke it out into three different categories, 10 best wicker hampers, featured wicker hampers, and then shop all. So the 10 best, I basically pull the top rated products from Amazon and Wayfair, list them here with pricing and people can click through and go and hopefully purchase one of these. And these are really the top rated hampers on both websites. Now featured wicker hampers, I basically feature a lot of Wayfair products so I can get people to Wayfair and then shop all wicker hampers. These are all Amazon products. So every single one of my pages is going to follow this same formula. So these do take a while to create these blog posts. So it is going to take a lot of time to do all this work because it's two per day. So in addition to those blog posts, the products. So if you see the products at the bottom of the page for wicker hampers. So if we keep scrolling down, these down here are all Amazon products. So I import them directly on my website. And the way that I do that is by using WooZone and I have a WooCommerce website. So if we come over here to Amazon, what I do is I'll search for wicker hampers, find a product that I haven't added to my website yet. We'll come over here. So here's a new product I haven't added yet. Wicker plastic, wicker large hampers. So choose the website. We have wicker guide here. We'll click on it, wicker hampers, and it's that easy to add products to my website. Okay, so now this one is going to be added to this list as soon as I refresh the page. So it's really that easy to add products on this website. So my goal is two blog posts, make sure I have products for every single blog post or just add additional products in other categories that I've already focused on. Now, once I'm done with that, what I want to do is create two social posts per day, one per blog post. I'm going to have 100 pins per day. That's the minimum. So my goal is to actually do more and then I'm going to be creating videos. The videos are really just going to be listing. If we come up to the top here, this 10 best section that I did. 
So I'm going to go through these 10 best section, name some of the products, show the pricing, show people where they can find them, which is basically just going to link back to this page. So hopefully people go through and click on these affiliate links. Okay, so now for two social posts. So I usually create a lot of my social posts and any graphics that I'm using in Canva. So for these two social posts and pins, what I'm doing is I already have some templates in Canva. So staying on the same blog post as Wicker Hampers, you can see it's basically just a big picture here. We have 100 plus Wicker Hampers for sale logo. I might redesign this template. I don't love this template, but here's another one, 100 plus Wicker Hampers for sale. So I can create an endless amount of these posts and I have a few different templates I use. The other one I use is 100 plus Wicker Hampers. So we have a big picture here, one with a grid with four different pictures, one with the text in the middle, one with different font. So I like to test different fonts and try to see what ends up working and over time whatever works best is what I'll keep creating now the last one the other one that I've just created recently so 10 best wicker hampers this is gonna be my major focus from now on because I think when it comes to wicker products I think people are really looking for the best and there's so many that just narrowing it down to the 10 top rated products for each category I think will really help in the long run so you're gonna see 10 best wicker hampers here 10 best wicker hampers and one a little bit different font so all pretty similar so i just kind of try to do some different designs and see what actually ends up working the best so that's what it is when it comes to graphics these are the ones that i'm going to be using for pinterest mainly and i can use some of these maybe for facebook and maybe instagram they'll probably look a little bit different but you really want to have some templates because it helps you make social posts much quicker so coming back over here we have our two keywords per day two blog posts per day 50 plus products per day and then from those we're going to be creating our social posts our pinterest pins and the videos are essentially just gonna be a slideshow where I go through some of these top products. So that's really gonna be it. And once I have all of those, that's gonna be a daily strategy here. What we're hoping for is to really see this lift in May, June, and July. So I like to do these blitzes before really peak times, peak periods. So with Wicker Furniture, if we look over here, so trend data for Wicker Furniture over the last five years, every single time it usually peaks around April, May, June. So right here, you can see our peak right here is May into June. Last year, we saw a huge peak. Obviously, a lot more people are at home for the pandemic. So you saw a huge peak in search volume here, and it's already starting to lift right here again in April. So we should be able to take advantage of this in May, June, July. So I'd like to do these before a really busy period. And you can see it's gonna be busy because I think it really helps with rankings when we're creating a lot of new content. So that's gonna be our goal here is to make sure we're getting all of this out over the next two weeks. And by the end of it, so our overview of our strategy, we're gonna have 20 keywords from our keyword list that we're now targeting. This also includes a ton of long tail keyword variations. So when you're looking at search volume and the amount of keywords that you've actually targeted with content, it helps the more and more you put out there. It also helps lift your other articles. So if we come over here and I add really high quality content that lists the top products for all these different categories, make it really easy to use for people who are visiting my website, what's gonna happen over time is all these other pages are gonna rank higher as well. So it takes time to rank for search engine optimization. It's not that you write something and you're gonna appear at the top of Google the next day. Now, when I create an article like Wicker Daybeds, I know it's gonna take some time to rank this. When I create an article like Wicker Porch Swings, I know it's gonna take some time to rank this. But what I found is I'm already selling a few Wicker Daybeds. I've already sold a few Wicker Sofa Sets. I've sold a few Wicker Sectional Sofas. So as I start to sell more and more of these products, I know that it's gonna help me keep ranking more and more in the long run. The two first articles I did were Wicker Lounge Chairs and Wicker Rocking Chairs, and those are actually the articles that drive the majority of my traffic right now when it comes to just long tail keywords. So people who aren't just searching Wicker Guide, when people are searching for Wicker Rocking Chairs, Outdoor Wicker Lounge Chairs, I have better rankings for those keywords than any of these other ones because these pages are more recent, these are a little bit older, I've improved them a couple times, so I'm starting to improve those rankings. So that's the overview of our strategy, making sure we have 20 new keywords that we're targeting, 500 brand new products on our website. We're gonna have 10 new Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter posts, and 1,000 plus new Pinterest pins. In addition to those, I'm gonna be creating over 400 unique social graphics and 20 total videos. So I'm gonna go over all this at the very end and kind of have a portfolio of what we've com completed over this 10-day content marketing strategy. But just some of the main takeaways, what you wanna do with your keywords. So I've had a few people say, you know, once I come up with a keyword list, how do I know what content to create? 
your goal is to understand user intent. And it's going to vary for every single keyword, every single industry. The user intent for someone searching a marketing keyword like Google ad strategies versus someone searching for wicker baskets, it's completely different. One is looking specifically for ways to improve their Google ads campaigns. One is looking for a wicker basket for their home. But what you need to understand is how people are looking for either the different products on your website, the different services you offer, or just some of the challenges that your customers are facing. And your goal with your content is to make sure that their challenges are easy to solve when they visit your content. Now research content creation and audience building. High quality content for your customers is what's gonna build an audience and your consistency is so important. So your research, what you wanna do is find the pain points of your customers, find the things that they're searching, find the areas where they're having trouble and there aren't a lot of solutions for them. Then what you wanna do is create content for those areas based on your research. So you don't just have to stop at keyword research, you can look at other pain points of your customers, whether they leave blog comments, maybe they leave comments on your YouTube channel, anything like that, you can find the areas where people need help. Audience building, that just comes down to consistency. Creating consistent content, publishing consistent content, and making sure you're promoting it on your social media channels is what's gonna help you build an audience. Now this two week challenge should help your strategy and you can always refine it and improve it over time. You're creating consistent content on your website and your social channels will lead to growth as long as your research is done properly and you understand what types of content you need to create in order to reach your website visitors. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. This is something you can start doing right away. This is something you can start doing a week or two from now. What I really like to do is employ this two week strategy at different periods throughout the year so I can really publish a lot of new content in a short period of time and I can make sure that I'm getting a lot of new social graphics and everything else out there because over time, if I were to do this two week content marketing blitz for the next six weeks, let's just say for example, and I kept up two keywords per day, two blog posts per day, 50 plus products per day, and I kept creating all of this content, all of this social content, publishing new products, publishing new blog posts, it's gonna help me grow. So if you follow this, it's gonna help you grow your traffic. And for a lot of people, you're probably in a niche, an industry that's a little bit better on social media than Wicker Furniture is. I mean, not a lot of people are going out of their way on social media to say, you know what, I wonder what the best Wicker sofa is. People don't go on Facebook for that reason. They go on social channels for the most part to be entertained. So what I have to do is continue to try to build the audience of people who really do like Wicker Furniture and people who are interested in just seeing new products, seeing different things they can add to their home. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.